Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Yvonne again. Uh, today I just wanted to make a video to show you what A, B, or split testing is and how you can set it up on your ClickFunnels. Okay, and we will, um, I'll show you how to integrate this with ClickMagic later on in the next videos uh, and how to mask your domain. But for now, I just want to show you what it is and how to set it up on your ClickFunnels. Okay, so um, what A, B testing is or split testing is it's basically testing. You test out your landing page and you track the conversions that go with it based on people that click. Uh, on your different variations and you see which variation gives you better results and then you make that as your main page and then you play around until you get a really high conversion rate okay so this is something you need to be doing all the time you never really stop you keep making it better and better and better and better okay so i'll show you how to do that here so basically this is your click files link that takes you to this page okay to create a split test all you do is you click this button that says create variation and you can create a separate variation from template or you can just copy your exact page as you have it if i click here create duplicate so i'll click that this is a sales page and here you see these guys are exactly the same so suppose i want half the people to click on this uh page and half the people to click on this one i'll make it 50 50. okay then I'll click on edit page. So I'll make some changes here. So for example, suppose I'm, I'm debating, I'm thinking, hmm, do people want to see this navigation bar or will it look better without it? So I'll just delete this and this in, in this landing page. I'll click save, I'll click back. So you can see there's, there's a difference. Okay, so again, I'll, I guess it reset. I'll make this 50-50 again. And I'll click apply changes and there you go okay so now anyone that clicks on this link um, they will go to 50% of the people will go here 50% of the people will go here okay so it's gonna take turns um, and I can test it out here but for me because I'm from one computer from one IP it's gonna identify me as one unique person one unique visitor so it's gonna always take me to one page okay so it's kind of useless for me to just test this um, out because the computer identifies that my IP is the same, okay? But basically, um, suppose now, because as you can see, there's only two, right? Suppose you want to do three or four or five or six different pages and you want to test all of them out at once. You don't want to go in this approach, okay? So what I'll do is I'll show you how you can make it so that you can test out three or four or five pages at the same time. So first thing you want to do is go to edit, go to settings up top and save this page as your template, okay? So if you want to base all your changes off of this exact page, you want to save it as template. So I'll click that. Um, no, this already exists, so I'll just, I'll just keep it as is. So disregard kind of this option, it's because I already uh, had this page active. So that's basically what it's gonna look like, okay? So now I'm gonna click Browse Funnels, and I will add a new funnel. Yeah, so unfortunately you have to add a new funnel if you want to do more than two right now. They used to have three. They used to have, um, you were able to test three different variations in total in one funnel. Now it's it's two max, okay? So I'll just name this test funnel again. We'll build funnel. And now you need to scroll down to your templates and you need to pick the same one that we have saved, okay? So I'll show you how to do that here. So as you can see here, so first of all, normally it's going to be at the bottom, but as you can see here, these are mostly opt-in pages, okay? So our page was actually a sales page. So make sure to go through all of these and just make sure your, your template is there, okay? So in this case, our template is going to be here. So we'll click select template. It's going to build up. And then here again, you can make your changes and then you can make another variation, okay? And so as you remember, we had variation one, two, and now we have variation three and four, okay? Um, yeah, so you make changes here. So in this case, I don't know why the testimonials was saved. Um, oh, right, because this was our main page that we based off of, okay? So suppose here I want to delete these, and I also want to, you know, suppose I want to delete this picture. Suppose I think, you know what, it's going to be much better without the picture. I'll click Save, okay? And then I'll exit back out again. So here, basically, that's how you do it. Um, so you have four pages, you know, I can, I can make some changes there and I'll make this 50-50, which will basically make it 25-25-25-25, okay? So now your question is, well, Ivan, you know, there's two links. How do you, you, you can't send two links to everyone, right? Yes, that's right. You, you can't really do that. Uh, so what I'll do in the, in one of the next upcoming videos, I'm not exactly sure um, what I'll do next, but I will show you the integration with ClickMagic and how you can track these conversions through ClickMagic and how uh, you can only make both of these links as one. 
and how you can see exactly uh, what traffic and what the results are for each of your uh, landing pages and which one performs better, okay? So that's it. That's what uh, A-B or split testing is and how you can do it in ClickFunnels. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have, again, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.